France is bracing itself for a major nationwide strike over pension reforms. The strike is expected to hit plane, rail and bus travel as workers plan to walk out for an indefinite period of time. The SNCF rail company says nine in ten of its trains will be cancelled, including international train lines, while Air France has said about 30% of its domestic flights would also be cancelled. I'm joined now by the journalist Nabila Ramdani, who specialises in French politics. Good morning to you, morning. Nabila. Um, France, as a country, has a reputation for protests. We, we've got used to seeing the Gilets Jaunes uh, protests on the streets. But how does today compare in terms of scale? Well, there's absolutely no doubt that today is expected to be an absolutely massive day of protest, um, one that will not only paralyse all transport systems, including international travel, such as the Eurostar and flights, but will also threaten uh, uh, other um, public services, vital ones, from schools, hospitals, postal services, and indeed civil servants, uh, ranging from judges to waste uh, collectors. Um, more than 230 official demonstrations have been sanctioned, uh, including big trade unions, and there will undoubtedly be a lot uh, of unofficial ones um, that will um, join uh, into the strikes. And um, it really is going to be a huge day of protest where millions will be joining directly or indirectly, and the Interior Minister has already warned about the fear of violence, which sadly always uh, accompanies uh, uh, that kind of uh, protest days. And how long could this go on for? Because the union is talking about this as being unlimited. Yes, indeed. It's built as an unlimited uh, national uh, strike and, and protest. So it's likely to go on for days, if not weeks. In fact, it's likely to be the worst day of action since the national strikes that we've seen back in 1995, when uh, President Jacques Chirac and his uh, Prime Minister Alain Juppé tried to introduce major reforms to the public sector, including uh, pension ones, and uh, they failed uh, miserably. It went on for three weeks, but at the end, uh, you know, the, the um, strikers brought the country literally to a standstill, but at the end, the government had to scrap the reforms and um, and there is, uh, um, I think it's likely to uh, be the same um, um, this time around. Looking at a, a deserted uh, Paris station uh, there, um, this is about pension reforms, particularly affecting public sector workers. Why are transport workers in particular so upset? So well, grieved? the reason for the protests uh, is because Mr Macron effectively wants to uh, simplify what is currently an extremely complicated and indeed cushy uh, pension um, 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 regime. There are 42 retirement schemes currently available. Uh, they are considered one of the most generous in Europe, if not in the world, especially for public sector workers. And um, train drivers and indeed riot police officers are the kind of people who can uh, retire in the early 50s and benefit from a generous uh, pension uh, scheme and indeed uh, perks. And French public spending on pensions uh, represents 14% of economic output. Um, and is among uh, the highest uh, in the world. Uh, there's a, um, an independent pension committee uh, that uh, forecast that uh, the system could uh, uh, run a deficit um, of 17 million billion euros uh, by 2025, uh, which is 0.7% percent, sorry, of the GDP if nothing is done. So President Macron is arguing that the country cannot afford such generosity anymore and that radical change is needed. So he wants to replace the 42 um, uh, retirement schemes currently in place by a universal pension scheme and indeed introduce cuts to the public sector in general. What, what's the mood towards these protests in France? Is there much support for them? The uh, general public is very much supportive of the strikers. In fact, uh, seven out of ten um, uh, people are supportive of the strikers. They generally are, um, even if they tend to uh, go on and on. I think the specific aims of the strikes are, of course, to uh, aim at uh, Macron's pension reforms, but the general public is also uh, against what is really, you know, an attempt to uh, cut um, uh, all, uh, um, to cut uh, public sector uh, funding in general. Okay, Nabila Ramdani, thanks very much indeed for your time.